bitch. I still got my photo in it. Uh, finna put on the wrist. I'm used to dropping that X. Uh, from the song, gotta keep it a gun. What's up y'all, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Precious and I'm back at it again with another sneaker review. Now, I'm not gonna lie to y'all, it's been a hot minute since I posted on YouTube and I really do apologize. I don't even wanna yap y'all heads off, but literally, I've been working full time and I also am taking summer classes for college. So, hey, summer classes is coming to an end, so I'm about to start pumping out this content for real. We're literally like 50 subscribers away from 1K, so if you haven't already, make sure y'all subscribe. But that's enough with the chit chat. Let's get straight into the unboxing. I feel like it's been a while on this channel, but as y'all can see, I got a pair of Rick Owens. This is actually been my first pair of Ricks. I don't own any pair of Rick Owens. I don't think I do. Nah, but I had to cop these because I think these are so fire. I went true to size. I got a 45 EU. Um, I'm gonna have a sizing chart up on the screen if you guys don't know your European size. But these shoes were sent to us by our good friends at Dandy Shoes, so go ahead, check the link in the description. So in the box, it comes with this Rick Owens shopping bag. Personally, I don't really like hang up my shopping bags or anything. I think you could just like clutter the area. So, you know, I'm not really gonna use this, but it's fine to have, you feel me? It also comes with this Rick Owens greeting card. There's nothing on it, nothing crazy, you feel me? And yeah, I did already take a look at the shoes because I had to lace one up the other way. But as y'all can see, this shit right here is hard, you feel me? Let's finish talking about what's in the box. We're gonna get to the shoes in a minute. They come with a pair of jumbo laces. These are a bit thicker than the pair of the laces that are already on it. It comes with another card of some sort. Oh, there's a lot of stuff in here. Oh, this come, comes with a thank you for shopping with us. Rick Owens, nice little like gift card receipt, whatever. Now, as y'all can see, these right here are so fine to me. I feel like it's a hit or miss and a lot of people really do hate on these, but I feel like it's just, it's just hard. It really gives like, Vans slick. I think they call these the Rick Owen Vans. That's slick what it gives, but like, to be honest, it's cool. You feel me? It's it's real cool. It's real fine. They did come with the bar laces, but I did lace up a pair like normally. And the Atlanta Streetwear Market event is July 20th, so I'm gonna be at the Streetwear Market event. I do plan on popping up with these. I think I can build a fit around these, cause like I said again, these is my first pair of Ricks, and these are so hard. Let me know what y'all think about these down in the comment section below. So basically, the colors that we have here on the shoe is we have this nice little black leather that goes around the upper sole of the shoe all the way around, and then this little material right here i'm not sure i think it's like a suede and it's like an off-white color it's not the same as the laces the laces are like a bit cream color this is more like a gray but the colors do complement each other well we got that nice white stitching all around the shoe you can't go wrong with it i feel like those minor details in the shoe really do make it stand out i actually did unbox a pair of ricks on my channel but i got that from my friend this one right here is my first pair because i just remembered that i did an unboxing but look at the bottom of the shoe y'all we got these nice little spikes you feel me it just gives it that like that rock look to it i really like these i'm not gonna lie um i went true to size so go true to size if you're stuck in between a half size if you want more room I would just go up some, but you can always go down a half size, take out the insole if you want some more wiggle room. But true to size is the best advice I have for y'all, you feel me? On the bottom of the shoe, we have a nice little Rick Owen, you feel me? Just says Rick Owens in this little cursive. And the shoe is really straightforward. There's really not much to say about it, but I feel like it's probably one of those like classics that everyone like should have in their collection. Like you just can't go wrong with the original black and cream Rick Owen look, you feel me? It doesn't matter if it's jumbo lace ones, the high top, like, I feel like this is like a staple that like, if you're into fashion or if you'd like to have a pair of Rick Owens, just hit, the, go with the classic black, like, the other colors are hard, you feel me? If you can build a fit around those, I would do that as well. But if you just want something simple that you can wear with anything, I would just get a pair of black Rick Owens because you really just can't go wrong with it. You can lace them up however you want. This can go with shorts. It can go with some cargos, some baggy jeans, whatever you want to wear with it. Like you just can't go wrong with a low top shoe, you feel me? But let me know which one y'all prefer down in the comment section below. Personally, the bar laces isn't bad, but I don't know why I'm not a fan of it. Um, I don't know. It's like hard, but I'm just not a fan of the bar laces. So I'd probably stick with the regular lace way, or I'd probably find something I could do like some design. Y'all know how people like do the star designs with laces. I'm gonna see if I could do something like that on the Ricks, but I'm just not a fan of the bar laces. They're not bad. Like it makes the shoe look clean, but something about it, I just don't rock with. All right, so we're about to pop the insole out to see what's on the insole. Got this nice dual system technology. The insole feels pretty 
pretty cool you feel me nice little also like a leather like material on the insole and it just has the incursive rick owen label right there that's about it like i said again the shoe is real straightforward but i feel like it's just it's hard like i don't know how to explain it um i don't know if y'all are a fan of it but i noticed that the toe box up here is like harder there's nothing up there in the toe box region but the toe box region does not like come down as you can see on both pairs let me take this out so I see. it's like a boot for real you feel me you can't hey knock knock who's there <laughs> anyways all jokes aside i fuck with them it's like steel toe boots almost you feel me you just can't go wrong with it, it gives that nice clean look and let me know what y'all think about this down in the comment section below i'm not gonna forget to do an on foot let me know what y'all think about this down in the comment section below if y'all like me to review any sneakers on the channel let me put these down before I hit myself in the head. If y'all want me to review any sneakers on the channel, you can go ahead and hit me up on my Instagram. I'm gonna try to get back to y'all. Thank y'all so much for watching this video. It's your girl Precious, and I'm out. Peace. I'm on the road to 1K, so make sure you subscribe. If you're not subscribed right now, just, just hit that subscribe button, you feel me? If you don't want to, that's cool, that's cool, that's cool. You feel me? That's cool. But you're gonna be missing all some fire content, so make sure you hit that subscribe button. I'm gonna see y'all in the next video. Peace out.